Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? Welcome back to the YouTube channel brought to you by the SMT. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you are a returning viewer and subscriber, and I also want to thank those who are first time viewers, uh, welcome to you. And if you end up liking what you see and hear in today's video, consider subscribing and activating that bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. Today, we're talking T Mobile and some of the updates that are going on with their network and actually with their devices that they support. Before I get into that content of today's video, I want to give a special shout out to Lawrence, the newest member of the SMT Patreon page. Thank you for the support and welcome to you. If you would like to become an SMT member of the Patreon page, you can do so by checking out the link in the description box below. There's also a link to the second channel, Sneed Mobile Tech Livestreams, the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech, and the Megadon.net invite code is also there. The social media platform of the future, never need another social media platform ever again. No algorithms, no ads, and no tracking. Megadon.net. So with today's video, we're going to take a look at what T-Mobile is doing to future-proof its network and future-proof devices moving forward with 5G. So the way that this update works is essentially, well, I'll kind of backtrack. There's two ways to actually connect to T-Mobile's 5G. And the way that this is done is through two main modes of connection. You have uh, their, well, I should say actually three. Uh, the main two are N71, which is T-Mobile's 600 megahertz, and then the newest method is the N41, or, you know, band 41 5G, which is their 2.5 gigahertz from the Sprint merger. Uh, there is millimeter wave connection for T-Mobile. It's completely de-emphasized, and it's not very good, and it's very limited, <clears throat> but, you know, they do have N260 and N261. Let's leave that on the side. Let's take a look at these first two bands, right? That's going to be their main mode of connection. But now we're seeing that not only are these low and mid-band 5G NR traditional uh, connections getting uh, access for customers, but there's also a new software update that is being sent out to the 2020 OnePlus 8 device uh, made by OnePlus to their devices that brings 5G support to two new bands, which is Band 2 and Band 66. Now, these are currently LTE bands, but eventually they will also be 5G NR bands and it's going to be operated through DSS. In the past, Neville Ray, the CTO of T-Mobile, has said that you know he's not really big on DSS. It's not where it needs to be in terms of them using it, and they don't really need it for now. But this update tells this update tells a different story, and at least we could say that it probably future proofs device support as these bands are going to be utilized for LTE and NNR through DSS in the near future. So the T-Mobile variant of the OnePlus 8 now joins the only other full connectivity 5G device, uh, which is the LG V60 ThinQ that will have connection to N2 and N66. Not even the Samsung Galaxy S20 series has these two connections. So the OnePlus 8, the LG V60, while they do lack millimeter wave support, they do have the N2 and the N260 uh, 5G in our future proof update. And for those of you that are not aware, N2 will be, you know, PCS and N66 will be the AWS spectrum for NR moving forward. Uh, this does kind of future proof these devices. It's good to see this update. They're both pretty new phones. They just came out this year. Uh, the OnePlus is very recent. The LG V60 came out, uh, you know, prior to that. But they're pretty new phones and it's good to see they're getting the support and somewhat future proofing. I do want to see that the the rest of this year's, you know, device releases, whether it's T-Mobile or it's unlocked variants uh, from manufacturers, have these types of connections. In fact, I would recommend that if you are going to buy a 5G NR device this year, try to make sure that you have these bands because carriers are going to be utiliz utilizing them. AT&T will be doing so as well as Verizon and here as well with T-Mobile. Uh, the C-band could probably wait. Maybe you're looking to upgrade next year. The millimeter wave could probably wait probably until at least next year but the n2 the n66 i think are important if you don't plan on upgrading for a couple of years so uh just an update make sure you guys know what's going on and it's good to see t-mobile is supporting uh, as well as oneplus is supporting these connections moving forward let me know what you guys th think of this update how you kind of see it how your analysis you know shapes up with mine maybe you see it differently maybe it's um, too early for a 5g phone this doesn't really you know, do anything for you. I think it's good to see. Um, but clearly, this is an indication that 
T-Mobile will be doing DSS regardless of what Neville Ray is saying uh, or trying to lead on. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. We'll love to hear what you guys have to say down there. Uh, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Uh, I think uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I think no other news, really. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, found it informative, please do like and share to all your favorite social medias. That helps the channel out a lot. Thank you for that. Before you get to going, you know, if you want to check out some other videos, I hand selected some for you to check out. That'd be awesome. Thank you for that. And I think what we'll do is we will hashtag, um, let's hashtag T-Mobile 5G, right? Because this does directly affect them. This is the T-Mobile variants of the OnePlus 8. Hashtag T-Mobile 5G. Uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Check out these other videos. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'm the SMT and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.